هلا توداي وي ويل كونتينيو توكينج اباوت ذا باتري تشارجنج سيركت ورح نرجع من الباتري تشارجنج سيركت ننقل على الايديال دايت يعني عن النون ايديال دايت على الريل دايت وي وير توكينج سو فار اباوت ان ايديال دايت بيهيفير سو بدنا نحكي ان ريل لايف اتس ان نون لينير اليمنت هاو دو اي ريلي مودل ات شو الديفرنت ريجنز لإلها حنلاقي إنه بعد في ثيرد ريجن which we do not deal with much but we're just going to explain كيف a single equation can model both regions the forward and the reverse mode and get little bit uh, dive little bit deeper into the diode circuit. هلا back to the battery charging circuit I'm just going to give a brief review so that we can wrap it up. في حدا عنده questions? from last time okay so let us wrap it up and if you have questions please go ahead and ask حكينا انه نحنا عنا the diode is uh, we have a sinusoidal input which is a 24 uh, volts peak value and it's a charging a 12 volt battery so anytime that vs is greater than 12 the diode is going to turn on and it is going to conduct Uh, current. So, هيدي هون ال ID هو ال diode current and the diode current is لكانه positive when uh, Vs is greater than 12. So, last time we talked about the peak diode current. Okay, شو هو maximum diode current? And the peak diode current, it happens when uh, Vs is max. Okay, and therefore ID بتصير بتساوي 24 yeah. minus 12 على R. Yes. Liana, you had a question? Doctor? Yes. بس كانت مقطوعة الكهرباء أول شيء. Quiz 3 Monday بأي chapters? Up to the battery charging circuit حأبعت لكم إيميل فيها اليوم. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. And uh, hey, the our characteristic circuit. Another characteristic that we would like to look at for the circuit is if we want to find what is the average uh, diode current. Okay, so in order to find the average diode current, it is not a sinusoid, it is partially turning on during the signal. So, our she and then we know that the average current is 1 on t integral between 0 and t i of t dt. If I want to work in the theta space, I will say it is 1 over 2 pi integral between 0 and 2 pi of i of theta d theta. Okay, now since we know, since we know that it is not operating all the way, and it is, this is zero and two pi, okay, so this is zero and this is two pi, we know that really it is conducting only between theta one and theta two, so then this integral is going to be, I know it is zero, otherwise the integral between theta one and theta two of i of theta, Decent. Okay, we agree on that. So last time, when we uh, discussed how to find theta one and theta two, we said that we can find theta one and theta two when uh, to solve for theta one, theta two, we set V S equal to twelve volts, meaning twenty four sine omega t. Here twenty four sine theta is equal to 12. This gives me that two solutions, theta 1 equal pi على 6, و theta 2 equal 5 pi على 6. وحكينا last time عن ال conduction angle. Okay, and we said it is the interval between the two thetas, right? So this is the conduction angle. Okay, إذا سميناها CA, هيدي CA هي بين theta 2 theta 1. Okay, so هون أخذين إنه ستة تو هي من الزيرو لعندهم وستة وان هي من الزيرو لعندهم. هلا we can by symmetry 
by symmetry think and كمان ايه مظبوط هي whenever it is rising this month the angle here بتساوي الانجل هير by symmetry بس نحن all we need is theta 1 and theta 2 for the solution هلا to put this in the integral as a, يعني if I want to solve for this problem or find the average current therefore the average current okay I average is going to be equal to the integral between pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. أكيد في عنا 1 على 2 pi of i. What is i uh, of theta d theta? What is i of theta d theta? شو بتساوي هالي quantity هون? شو هي ال i of theta d theta? Anybody you mean 24 this? sine theta? What is I of T? What is I D? Ah, okay, okay. How many lambda? The S positive. Yeah, the. When we have S bigger than 12, it is. Minus 12 over R. The S minus 12 over R, right? So yes. I have to go back to this equation here. Had to be S in terms of theta, not T. Exactly. To plug in I of theta. Exactly. Minus, over 12, minus 12 over R. True, exactly. So, so we first thing, to be able to get the ID positive, it is really when theta is between what two values? Theta is between 1 and 2. 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 في حدا عن has a problem why this integral reduces to the integral between theta one and theta two because the integral is zero otherwise right so between theta one and theta two okay i of theta is really i d v s of theta minus twelve over r d theta and therefore, this integral now is equal to 1 over 2 pi, the integral then pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, of 24 sine theta minus 12 over r. Okay? This integral, we know how to compute, and we know it's the integral of the sine, r is a constant, and the 12 is a constant. Okay? So we can calculate the average current this way. Anybody has a question about how we calculate the average current? Yes, Nidal. Yes, Professor, I have a question. Conduction angle, is it theta 2 minus theta 1? Or do you have to write it? It's an interval. The conduction angle, let me highlight it with yellow here. It is this interval here. Okay, it's this interval here. It's this interval here. It's this interval here. ستة تو لا ستة وان يعني if this is my signal id okay this is the peak that we are solving here حتى بس نكون consistent and if this is ستة تو and ستة وان the conduction angle is the space between them okay so it is ستة تو okay thank you يعني لما يجينا سؤال بس عن conduction angle هو بيجينا ك interval مش ك distance إنه ك it is the interval it is the Okay. Okay. And the integral is performed over the conduction angle. Okay. Between theta one and theta two. Okay. Had I answered the question on the average current? Anybody has a question on the average current? Okay. So I'm assuming it's clear. Okay. Time. So now. Um, that we found the average current, we know how to find the conduction angle. One more entity remains, and this the peak inverse voltage. So, how do you know the need to look at, and it applies to other circuits, but we are showing you how we solve it for the battery uh, charging circuit is called the peak inverse voltage and we refer to it as PIV okay so why we need this because we'll explain to you the real diode model in a bit when I have a diode 
uh, D. And if it is operating in the reverse mode, let us say this is my voltage, and this voltage takes the value minus 10 volts, so it is negative, so I have a negative number. Okay, then what is the voltage across the diode? What is V diode in this case? What is the voltage across the diode? And let minus, me, 10. minus 10 volts, right? So the voltage across the diode is minus 10 volts. Excellent. But uh, if this voltage keeps dropping, if it drops, let's say, to minus 30 volts, the diode voltage is going to drop to minus 30 volts. Do we think that the diode can handle a very negative voltage? Or a very positive voltage, but specifically, can it handle a very negative voltage? And even if it is negative, what would happen to the diode? Somebody is trying to push a current opposite to it with a very strong force. What will happen, Joseph? It would break down on the threshold. Exactly. So this can lead to breakdown. Actually, it can break down much earlier than this. Okay, and we're opposing it with very strong current, so it's going to break it down. So therefore, when we handle the real diode, okay, we are going to study that the diode can go to uh, breakdown voltage, and this is why, uh, or breakdown region, and this is why it is important for us. We want to find in a given circuit. The, the peak inverse voltage, yani the maximum negative voltage uh, applied across the diode. Okay? So this is important for us to know how much it is tolerating. Okay? So let us look in the context of the uh, battery charging circuit. So for the battery charging circuit, what was the peak inverse so, by definition, first, let me put the definition for you. We don't report it as a negative number. The PIV is the absolute value of the most negative voltage applied across the diode. The most negative voltage applied across the diode. Okay, so this is the definition of the PIV. And as I'm applying minus 24 volts, I tell you PIV is 24 for this circuit. Mm -hmm. it's circuit dependent. Let us see the battery charging circuit. How do I model the diode? Okay, so as I'm in the VS, and now I'm looking not in the on region, I am looking when the diode is off. And anytime VS is less than what? And the diode is off. Exactly. So when Vs is less than 12, the diode is off. And how do I model the circuit? And the circuit will be something as an open, like, as an open circuit. So the cone and the Vs, I can and the resistor. I can and the home open circuit, I the plus minus VD. What is the current that is flowing here? Zero. And I have 12 volts here. Okay? So this is now my circuit when the diode is off. So my task to find the PID, what do I need to solve? Sorry, Professor, I thought it was. Hey, to find the PID. Okay, okay, it's the absolute value of the most uh, applied uh, negative Okay, voltage. so I need first to find what? The negative voltage applied. Hey, but the, so sure most negative voltage applied, yeah, you find VD first as function of what? VS, right? And then find, okay, then find the most negative VD, right? True and take absolute value. 
اوكي طيب جريت فاقدر طلع to for me to find the ds function of vs what is the equation that i have to solve for كيف طلع the ds function of vs kvn from the circuit from kvn right okay so what does kvl tell me kvl tells us that minus vs plus ri right plus vd plus 12 equals to what ما بنسى الباتري I'm moving with KVL although I is zero and this is an open circuit right because the battery is connected between 12 and this side basically VS لأن R is ما في current ما في voltage drop so this tells me that the V diode is equal to VS sorry بس ما أشلي هيدا أنا بلها exactly okay so V diode هيدا ال RI شو هي do I need to worry about it? Zero. This is zero. zero. So it is equal to Vs minus 12. Okay. So when is this most negative? I'm the high most when, negative. When Vs is zero. I'm the most negative. Vs is the most negative. Okay. So here Vs, when the diode is off. اوكي نحن اوريدي قلنا انه لما الدايود از اوف انا بدي في اس تكون اقل من 12 للدايود تكون اوف سو باي ريجن في اس بيلونجز تو هون من 0 ل 12 او من ماينس انفينيتي ل 12 لا في اس لا لا من ماينس 24 لانه ساين ماينس 24 في اس از سينوسويدال سيجنال اه يس رايت رايت اوكي سو هي في اس بين 24 Minus 24, right? And then in the off region, the diode to turn off. And if I have here 12, right? Anywhere below this 12, meaning between this, sorry, between this range and this range, okay? Has to turn the diode off. Above it, has to turn on. So, so here we have. بهيدا الريجن سوري انا ضغطت بس كومبير ماينس 24 و 12 رايت؟ بيكوز اتس سينيزويد اند عم نشوف السيركت لما الدايد تكون اوف سو شو الموست شو الفاليو من الفي اس ذات جيفز مي في دي موست نيجاتيف؟ ماينس 24 اوكي يعني اكوردنج تو ذس اذا بدي الحقها شو الرينج للفي دايود بالاوف ريجن حيكون بين Minus 24 minus 12 اللي هو minus 36 و 12 minus 12 يلي هو قديش zero. So the most negative happens at Vs equal minus 24 يعني V ديود equal minus 24 minus 12 يلي حيكون minus 36. Right? Okay. Is this clear for everybody now? حدا عنده سؤال؟ Okay, so this is the most negative voltage and therefore the PIV for this circuit is what? 36. Clear? Had I understood? Yes, Joseph. Okay, okay. So, uh, Professor, yes, yes. Does it mean something specific having a PIV 36 volts? Hello. For this circuit, this means if I want to go and buy a diode, I have to make sure that the diode can tolerate up to 36 volts before it breaks down. Allah. The same Okay. And the same happens to the diode. Okay. Thank you. So, Joseph, do you have any questions because the electricity cut off? Uh, I'm reading them. Uh, maximum, I'll email you if I have any questions. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, anybody else has any questions? Okay, but, so now we see that, you uh, know, basically, what's going on? I'm going to put this definition command mojoot or VD diode minimum. Okay, so now that we see that a diode can be stressed and that a negative voltage can be applied across the diode, we are going to look at how a real diode operates. Okay, 
So, after we will start Hajjini Anna, and we will talk now about real diets. So, the short quiz will not include the real diets for Monday, okay? For this weekend, okay? So, let us first start to look at if I have a simple R, R and diet circuit. But the same chapter? Same chapter, it's about diet, yeah. yeah. So let us say that we have a voltage source. Let's say they had to a little bit how um, the diode interacts in a circuit. What was the model that we assumed? What is the next model that we are going to assume? So I have a diode and a resistor. Hey, the resistor R, and this is my diode. This is plus minus VD, this is I D. I also have IR, okay? And this is the voltage across the resistor R, okay? So, when we talked about the ideal diode, we said that the ideal diode model, we are going to plot ID versus VD, and we said that the I diode versus V diode is uh, it, the current is zero when VD is negative, right? And the current is going to be positive, okay? So here ID is positive when it is on and V diode is zero. Okay, hold two regions and the ID diode, and the Open circuit, ID is, uh, VD is zero and ID is positive. And then uh, ID is zero, lemma V diode is negative. Okay, so these were the two regions that we talked about. Great. Um, we are solving by placing the diode in one of those two regions. I'm helping the LVPC. Which is called the load line. It is out of context of what is the real diode. But لحتى ارجع اخدكم how the real diode looks like and then we talk about its characteristics. So أنا إذا بدي أرسم a graph if I want to draw the load line graph for the resistor. Now how do we draw the load line of the resistor? Yes. So can. Sorry, but sorry, كثير عم ضاعت. هيك منيح. Uh, okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, how do I draw the load line of the resistor? يعني أنا إذا عندي ideal diode, how am I going to draw the load line of the resistor? What is the equation for I R? شو الكورنت اللي عم يمرو بال or what is the voltage at? What is I R for the resistor? V S over R. What is the, what is it? As I said, we're talking about Ohm's law. It is V R over R. Over R. What is V R? Insert the diode on or off. Forget about the diode. Independent of what. I mean, even when all short circuit or not. Okay. Kvl. What's V R by Kvl? V S. Plus V D. Plus V R. If I want to do V, if I want to do Kvl here. Loop, شو بتقلي؟ بتقلي minus V S بدون ما أعرف أنا شو الموديل. انسى forget about the model now. Forget it now. Okay. Minus V S plus V D plus V R equals zero. يعني V R شو بيساوي؟ Minus V D. V S minus V D. يعني I R is equal to V S minus V D over R. Okay. Let me assume for simplicity that V S is three volts. Okay, so uh, and let us what is IR equal to? Is Anna is IR equal to ID in this circuit? Yes, yes, okay, great. So I can assume that I can draw IR on this axis as well, and IR is the same ID, their intersecting values are the same. So, Halina at Anna. Uh, when, therefore, let me find two points on this graph above. When uh, Vd equal to zero, I'm going to take this equation here, okay? And I'm going to evaluate it at two points. The first point, when Vd equal to zero, what is IR equal to? Is that Vs is a three? 
Vs على R and what is it equal to in this case? 3 over R, right? So when Vd is equal to 0, okay, this is the first point here. And when Vd would say with 0, the IR is Vs على R. So I'm going to write here at this point Vs over R, okay? Well, the second point that I am interested in is the second point is when uh, I when I R equal to zero, what would be the load line as function? Let me close the door. Okay, the load line as Hypothetically speaking, I want to say that when I R equal to zero, so this is a hypothetical point. Okay, where would the uh, what would the value would satisfy that? Is it the whole equation come in? Here, let's just put arrow ten. So if I want to rely only on this equation, although this is not the solution that we know how to solve, but is that I I am blinded and I only look at equation A. So only looking from equation A and the plugging in I R equal to zero. Okay, should be at any height. What does this tell me? What where does it intersect here? Hey, where does it intersect this axis? You mean Vs equal to V D with zero land equal to zero equation? Exactly. So when I R equal to zero, V D, the solution for V D will be equal to a this happens when the x axis and if you do x. Okay, so let me think that this is x. Okay. If this is a variable x. Okay. And I'm telling you that IR is equal to Vs minus x over R, okay? And I'm telling you IR equal to zero. This happens when x is equal to what? Vs, right? Right. If I set this to be equal to zero, then x will be equal to Vs. So this intersection point is Vs. Okay? Okay? Yes, it's clear. How we mathematically move from this equation to this solution? Professor, I understand what happened, but I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. So, first, the first step that we are trying to do... Okay. Let me draw this and tell you that this line is the load line of the resistor. And I'm going to go to the second page and I will repeat what we are trying to do here. So assuming that I have a device, an unknown device X, mobile characteristics like diode yali ana and an unknown device X, okay, such that I have now some voltage source here. I have device X. Or let us not call it X device Z and Hasaman and not the X ever. So let us assume that I have some device Z which is nonlinear, okay, with some nonlinear characteristics. Okay, and this device Z is really connected to a resistor and to supply voltage Vs. Okay, and uh, we are trying to. Uh, solve or find the solution we want to solve uh, for uh, the uh, bias points and yani solve for the DC bias points or the operating point of the circuit. So, yani ana lama bikun and uh, two resistors masalan, okay, for the operating points of the circuit. Okay, so أنا مثلاً إذا أعطيتكم example أن عندي resistor one or resistor two مع supply voltage Vs. Okay, uh, and I'm trying to solve for the operating. إلكون حلولي what is Va, right? What is the current that is flowing in those two resistors, right? 
هلا اذا انا عندي ديفايس زي with non-linear characteristic let us say that z is modeled has the model which is i z is equal e to the a times v z okay in all the region okay let us say that it is exponentially dependent on vz for example and we have a resistor r and i'm trying to ask you to find the solution for the device with the resistor كيف بدنا نجي نحل له هيدا solution okay let us look at it if i tell you that this is the graphical characteristics for iz versus vz Okay, let us say that I tell you that these are the characteristics معنا equation that this is IZ versus VZ. Okay, the device Z behaves this way. Okay. وإذا أنا جيت أنتلكون أنه I want to solve for, uh, for this. How do we solve for the system? Don't we say let us equate IZ equal to IR and this is one way to solve for the operating point, right? So let us say that iz is exponentially dependent on vz. Let us say that I have a function f that relates iz as function of vz. Okay. Okay. So if i want to solve for the current that is flowing in the in this z device and the resistor how do we solve for it نحن شو بنعرف للكرنت مع الايكويشن للاي زي اوكي سو اي نو ذا ايكويشن فور اي زي اوكي وات دو اي نيد تو فايند تو كومبليت ذس ايكويشن هير شو بدي احط فيها هاي بعرف انا من الاي ار ايه بعرف انا من الكي في ال انه حط لي انه ماينس في اس plus vz, right? plus vr is equal to what? zero zero and I know that I can write what is vr? vs minus vz exactly, so I vr is equal to vs minus vz but vr is what? it is ir, IR. times r, right? So therefore, R is V S minus V Z على R. إذا أخذنا هاي constant هي three minus V Z على R. شو صار عندي ال I R صارت function of what V Z, but it is another function, right? Now, if I plug in this function two of V Z here. What do I have? Do I have one equation, one unknown? يعني أنا حسيرة عم بكتب I Z equal to I R حكتب F one of Z is equal to of V Z equal F two of V Z صار عندي one equation, one unknown in what variable? V Z. In V Z. Okay. So. Practically speaking, if I give you the equation for uh, IZ, and if you know from KVL how to relate uh, IR to VZ as well, I can equate the two and find the solution for VZ. Uh, example قلت انه هيدا هو F1 okay and F1 I just drew it here so this is F1 of VZ here and if I somehow told you that this is F2 of VZ okay if I told you that this is F2 of VZ do you know how to find what is the operating intersection يعني مش هي هاي الإيكواليتي أوكي يعني therefore exactly so the intersection point also the intersection point also is 
the solution, right? يعني فين الاقيا okay is the solution, okay? So therefore, okay, therefore I can solve for the problem, okay? Therefore I can solve for the problem. يا أما using the equation, okay? Or graphically using what the intersection sorry using the intersection point of the two functions okay of the two functions great ليش انا ما بستعمل the closed form equation لانه let us say that say that f1 of z is equal مثلا لنقول is into uh, e to the vz over vt minus 1 okay and f2 we just showed that it is equal to vs minus vz over r حيصير الاكويشن f1 equal to f2 حتعطيني exponent equation فيها non-linear Okay, component, يعني أنا ما بعرف حلله linearly. So this is is into e to the vz over vt minus 1 is equal to vs minus vz over r. I cannot find a closed form. Okay. Sorry, but three little. It's a number over a constant. هلا بعد شوي بشرح لكم إياها. Let me remove the vt and let me write something in its place. So let us say over some, uh, let us say it is like this, okay? بعدين نحكي شو هن هول variables, okay? So let us say, for example... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm بس هون ما بنعود فيها نحلها بس لأن في exponential يعني ما سير داخل ولا لأنه نحن معودين نحل system of linear equations, صح? Uh, and we know how to solve for it using linear algebra. Hey, the say, I'm not going to tell you a closed form solution. Not in a lack. Why is the square root of something times something? Is a hat that in the middle of the head. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Exactly. Exactly. So, how do we solve this? 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 Exactly. And those multiple options are going to be, yeah, Emma, I need to use a, the computer, yani some form of a simulator, okay? Yani simulator, okay? And or I need to do it iteratively. بعدين نحكي عن النهار شو هن؟ أو في عندي option اللي هو إنه the graphical method, okay? To solve for يا اما اي ابروكسيميت ذا دايود مثل ما عملنا فيها وعملناها ات اوبريتس ان تو ريجنز ذات ار لينير تو مي اند اي سولف ات يا اما بدي اخذها على سيميليتر يا اما يعني هون يا اما بعمل ابروكسيميت ذا بيهيفير ذا ديفايس بيهيفير اوكي اور بخدها على سيميليتر او بحلها اتراتيفلي او بعتمد مثلا جرافيكال ميثود لاقدر حل السوليوشن اوكي سو هلا من هاي اتعلمنا شغلتين او وي سو تو ثينجز وي سو انه الريزستر كارنت ذا ريزستر كارنت اي ار كان بي ريتن از فانكشن اوف ذيس ديفايسز فولتج اند اي كان اولسو دراو Okay, and I can also draw it here. Okay, this is the IR. This is F2. I can. This is called a load line. This is the IR. This is the load line. Okay, let me erase this. It is not clear here. Okay, so the IR now characteristic as function of this Z. This is what we call the load line. Okay, so this is the load line. Let me call me load line. لأن هون عم أقول the resistor هو لما إجا على هاد device أو على هاد circuit, how it affected it or how the current or was function of the voltage I am trying to solve for. So I call me load line. هو جاي load على the circuit اللي عندي. 
okay, and the intersection point between the load line between function one and function two هي the solution, okay. What uh, hit? Let's add some resistor on on this graph. حدا عنده سؤال عنه؟ يعني do you all have in your head a mapping between somebody gave me that iz is function of vz so i can draw its characteristics on this curve here sorry on this curve here okay and then if i want to solve for the operating point then i need to find uh, as well ir as function of vz Okay, and if I find IR as function of VZ given this piece of information, I can equate IR to be equal to IZ, and therefore I will get F1 of VZ equal F2 of VZ, and then I can now solve for the solution VZ. Okay, هيدا الهدف اللي عنا هي. Is this clear? Clear, clear, professor. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So, we have F2, we have F1, we have the characteristics, and I can solve it graphically or iteratively. Okay. So, let us now go back to the circuit that we were drawing in the beginning. We were saying that if I have a diode, shape like this. Okay. So, if we have a diode current ID. Is ideal, so this is ideal diode, هاي the ID ideal, okay. وإذا جينا حطيناها بسيركت مع الريزستر, okay. So حطينا الديود مع الريزستر مع plus minus three volts, let us say here, and this is the resistor R. We found from before that I R is equal to three minus V diode over R, صح? And this is on this axis here, I have V diode, okay? So, كيف برسم هيدي ال IR? إذا بدي أجي أرسم ال IR هلا, let me draw it in the same color, which is blue. حأجي طلع لل intersection points, صح? حلاقي لها two points, point number one. So, I'm going to draw two points for R load line. Okay, and for our load line, the first point is what? The first point I'm going to set it here. لما أهون شيء لما بحط ال y equal zero. Okay, so I want to draw I R here on the same curve as function of V D. يعني هاي ده هو F two of V D. Okay, so the first point I set it I R equal to zero, and the second point I can set it لما V D equal to zero. بعمل ال intersection points صح? هيك بقدر ارسم لاين لما ال IR equal to zero what does this tell me at uh, at what point is this this is first point one لما ال IR equal to zero this tells me that VD equal to three okay so هون عندي three ولما ال VD equal to zero حكون عم اشتغل على ال Y axis okay so at in this case if VD is zero what is IR Three over R. So this is a three over R. So now I know how to draw F two, right? يعني هيدا الأخضر كان F one, and the blue is my F two. Okay, so this is my F one and this is my F two. Okay, and where do they intersect in this case? When an intersection, where is the solution point? Three over R. Exactly. So in this case, the solution is simple. And we were looking at the eyes of the apple, which was what you said, I think, which was B S. So for the ideal diode model, the intersection, okay, the intersection point here when V D equal to zero, right, and I D equal to I R equal to three of R. Okay. So this is the intersection point. Okay, this is the intersection point, which is the solution. Okay, هلا طيب ما نحنا كنا عرفنا طلعناها هاي from before, right? By just assuming that the diode is on and solving for it, right? But 
if we now look at the characteristics of the real diode, and if I tell you that, sorry, بلاش نطيت real diode على الصنيلة. إذا قلت لكم إن the real diode characteristics are not ideal, but really they look something like this. Okay, so this is ideal real. Okay, and it has some exponential behavior, and it also it has a breakdown region. We'll talk about it later. Ujina rasanna resistor equation. Would the resistor equation vary if I change my device? In an as a half a plus minus three here, and I tell you that this is a real diode. This is plus minus VD. This is ID, and this is. R would the equation of IR change? Of course, حسب ال R. خليني انسون أي equation عم بسأل عنا أنا. هلا هون أنا بدي ارسم IR right? إذا بيجي بحط ال KVL هون بهاي the loop. Okay, if I draw KVL in this loop, what would KVL tell me? شو بتقول لك كيف قال ماينس 3 بلس في دي بلس اي ار تايمز ار از ايكوال تو وات زيرو سو الاي ار شو بتساوي الاي ار سوري سوري هو ميزان اوكي سو اي ار از ايكوال تو 3 ماينس في دي اوفر R أو V S minus V D over R تغير اللود لين شكل minus V D minus V D على R. Okay تغير شكل اللود لين. Is my load line different from what it was before? يعني هاي. أنا فكر سؤالك إنه إذا بنغير مثلاً ال R R هي. إيه إيه لا لا this is what I mean. So the load line. Did not it change independent of how nonlinear the other device is, right? But what it changed? Should it change? بعد نفس ال intersection point. Yes, لا different intersection point. They have solution. 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 What really changes is that the device characteristic change. يعني أنا هلا إذا بشيل الفيديو بحط نظر VZ محلة. ال VZ هي اللي حتتغير ال characteristic line. يعني هون تغيرت ال F2. So for this example, okay, for this example, F1, sorry, F1 changed for the light. Okay, so my intersection point. Point solution now changed. Okay, so hella is that I don't have the capacity to know that I'm going to operate in two regions and I have a nonlinear equation. I can rely graphically to identify where the solution is and also what can I know is a matter if I don't want to solve, but مثلا if the R value changes, okay. What will happen to this line? The slope is going to change, right? Because the slope is one over R. So as the R value changes, the intersection points with the y-axis might change, right? And therefore, I can know if the solution will be lower or higher, right? So depending on R value, and even if I don't know how to solve for it, the graphical method also can give us a hint about uh, how the trend for the solution. And it is a solution by any shakel and what how it is going to change as function of R. Right? Yeah. بقدر أنا أحسب هاي النقطة كيف حسبت قبل. This point I found that it was a three over r, right? So this point here was a three over r. 
سو so انا بعرف اف ار انكريزز شو بصير فيها هي النقطة؟ يعني الواي انترسبت ديكريزز اكزاكتلي كان 3 اوفر ار سو اف ار انكريزز 3 اوفر ار از ذا كوانتيتي از جوينج تو دروب ومع مين حينزل؟ لوكس للسوليوشن حينزل من جنب اوكي از ات كلير نا the load line and the intersection and the different devices yes professor بس سؤال صغير f1 yes, هون هي ل blue line yes f2 هي ال resistor هي ل blue line okay so this is the equation طب كيف طب كيف f1 changed here okay we ولا يمكن لأن read diet a we moved from uh, because now it is a real diode Okay, the equation now is different. Okay, بينما لما كنت أنا قبل بال ideal diode. وهذا كان سؤالك إنه إذا ال. Yes. إذا blue. Sorry. إيه go ahead. So لأن كانت إيه معلش لأن كانت ideal diode. كان أقول كهذا كان سؤالك إنه إذا. في delay. Sorry, go ahead with your question. Okay, okay. واضحة. Okay. أنا عم بسأل إنه أنت سألت إذا الـ F2 حتتغير، أنا فكرت عم بسأل إذا الـ R تغيرت هي الـ يعني يعني الـ Blue Line ما بيتغير من ساعبت من ريل لـ صح الـ F2 ما تغير لأنه بس أنا أشلت الـ Device و I plugged something else. Right؟ الـ F1 تغيرت لأنه أنا قلبتها من Ideal لـ Real، يعني شلت الـ Device وحطيت Device محلها عندها موديل تاني. Okay, but بعد ال IR as function of VD or her device is still the same by KVL. Okay, so hey, okay, و هاي ده بالنسبة لإله هي ال F2. طبعاً إذا غيرت ال R value حيتغير ال F2 equation حينزل ال line. Okay, هذا عنده سؤال بعد. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, thank you. Tell us, Joseph. Go ahead. The TID, it's just the peak of the minimum, right? The most negative value, يعني تطلع ال lowest possible VD, and for the lowest possible VD, I find the absolute value. Exactly. So it's the peak and the minimum. It doesn't tell us anything if the if the diode will break, right? It's just. Uh, it tells me. It tells me to what voltage, to what negative voltage VD is reaching. Or the next time, we take the breakdown region. Notice here, if you see this, here, I'm going to start to have current in reverse mode. So here, this is called the breakdown region. So next time. حسب في دايوتس ذات بريك داون ات ماينس 5 في دايوتس ذات بريك داون ات ماينس 10 سو اف ات تيلز مي ذات بي دي از ماينس 36 ات از تيلينج مي بي وير ذس دايود از جوينج تو بي سبجكت تو ا ريفرس فولتج اوف ماجنيتيود 36 فولتس سو ميك شور يور دايود كان توليريت ذات ماتش اوكي جريت ثانك يو اوكي طيب ثانك يو افريبادي So Thank next you, time you're welcome and we'll talk about real diodes and more details. Yeah, and we'll Thank you. Take care.